Welcome to Cloudpunk. This is a game by Ion Lands, where you're a delivery driver, well, in the clouds. I don't know much about it other than it's supposed to be good, and it looks gorgeous. Let's start a new game. I've played it for maybe one minute or so just to test the settings and make sure the recording is working fine. New game. Control, come in. This is... wait, is this channel receiving me? Uh, driver of 14FC, this is Control. We read you. Is that you, Carmine? No, my name is Rania. Oh, you're the new kid. I'm the new driver, yeah. Who is Carmine? He was driver of 14FB. What happened to him? He, he retired last month. Good for him. Not really. He was in the big Sector 6 crash last week. Lots of people got retired. Don't worry, you won't be flying through that section for hours yet. Where do I go now? Well, how are you handling your Hava? Okay, I guess. I read your references. You're a good driver, but navigating a Hava around Navalis isn't like driving your flat country roads back home. Now, this city goes down a hundred miles and up a thousand. Remember, you're not driving an old internal combustion engine. You'll need to engage your vertical repulsors or find one of the car lifts. Fly to headquarters. I'll give you more instructions when you arrive. Thanks, Control. Uh, one more thing, 14FC. Welcome to Cloudpunk. I really like how this game looks. I guess you could describe it as like sort of a voxel look. It's got those pretty distinct squares that make up pretty much everything. Unlicensed jazz. Damn. Probably a jazz black market then. <laughs> yeah, it's just gorgeous. So I probably should just go to where it wants me to go, but I kind of just want to land and, like, see what that does. Third person view. We're made of voxels, too. Everybody is. Oh, can you even go first person? I wonder if you can just fall off. Uh, no. Nope, there's invisible walls, thank god. That'd be terrifying. There is no ground that I can see. I think first person is better. This is kind of like weirdly nauseating to me. You can really zoom out if you want. Or just move like this. Yeah, I definitely want first person. Punch card. It's a punch card. It's covered in holes. They seem random, but there is a pattern. The card itself is heavy and thick. It feels like it could survive a bomb blast. What is it used for? Flute. My old flute. I don't want that right now. Blue flower. A dried flower from the eastern peninsula. I used this as a bookmark when I was back home. But I hardly read anymore. I should throw this away, but... When I think about it going into a trash can here in Novalis, something feels wrong and I... Can't let it go. Oh, a little cleaning robot. 
Usually cleaning robots are really cute, but actually that one looks kind of scary. The cleaning bristles around the outside of it look sort of like big saw blades. <laughs> that is a unit. So there's a lot of stuff all over the minimap. Indicate where things are, I guess. Memory chip. This has been formatted, but that just means someone else can use it. Hmm, that one has a cash value, so maybe it's meant to be sold. But, like, the punch card and this other stuff doesn't. They look suspiciously like Mario or something. It's hard to tell. It's so dark. Do I have, like, a flashlight or something? It looks like a 3D printer on wheels. <laughs> it's really interesting that you can look at stuff at such different scales. Right? This whole building just becomes a big obstacle when I'm in the aircraft thing, or whatever you call it. I guess it's a car. But then down here, up close and personal, you can see every little detail. I suppose I should check out the other side, huh? Or should I just... let's just... let's not get caught up in this. Let's go to our objective. Can always come back. Got a green thing over here. About 1,200 units, maybe meters away. Oh, I can't go above that. I wish I could move my view more more up. Uh, oh, oh, wow, I can. If I press X, just like I can use that to enter, like, third-person mode down below, that also allows me to free spin around. That is amazing! It's like there's waves in the sky. That is so gorgeous. I love that. Marapas Island. 50 bucks for finding it. Like, look at all that down there to explore. Look at all the icons on the map and all the parking places. Is that what those little, like, chevrons pointing down are? Is that a landing place? I doubt it. It looks like a fruit stand. <laughs> Anyway. Shall we drive into traffic? Do we have durability? I think we maybe do. Next to the money on the, like, above the map on the bottom right, next to the money, there's something like a bar that's a little bit used up. That might be health? I'm not sure. HQ.
Ooh. Those like bi bionic hands. It's like really cool. Is that supposed to be a force field? Maybe it only allows me through? 14 FC. This is going to the Marrow. Where's that? Pretty low in the city superstructure. I'll give you a waypoint on your navcom to help you find it. Be careful down there. It's busy, and it's a maze. Not exactly the rich part of town. Kind of place where you wipe your feet on the way out. Okay. Carmenus was a great driver. You got big boots to fill. He flew delivery for over 10 years, you know? How about the driver before him? 14 F.A.? <laughs> Lasted one night. <laughs> Most drivers only last one night. They quit the job? One way or another, yeah. You seem like a nice kid, 14 F.C. I hope you make it. Don't get lost down there in the marrow. I'll try. What's in the package? Two rules, kid. Don't miss a delivery, and don't ask what's in the package. Everything else is just guidelines. Okay, seriously though, what's in the package? That's not in my inventory. Okay, fine. So there's a face of a person here. Yeah, like a named person I assume I can talk to. A gang member. Hey, come here a minute. Why? We want to talk to you. So talk. What do you do? Delivery driver. You're cloud punk, right? So you must be thinking you're pretty badass. If you say so. Why you be nice to her? She delivers to the spire. She don't respect us. Show me something to respect then. You're sassy, acting like you weren't afraid of us. I ain't. She don't know who she's talking to, Razor. She don't know how you got that name. Razor? Are you a shaving robot? <laughs> you don't gotta take that from her type, Razor. You gotta do something. Nah, I like her. She's got a big mouth like me. So you're both part of Block 4-0, right? You heard of us. I heard there's an android gang I should avoid. That's good advice. You don't want to get in our way. Why do you get such a bad reputation? We do a lot of things we ain't supposed to. Robbing people? Nah, much worse. Urban renewal, bitch! Oh, yeah! Wait, what? Urban renewal? Yeah, community projects. Planting gardens on corporate waste ground. Turning old factories into playgrounds. Real hardcore shit. I mean, no, I don't get it at all. There ain't nothing in Navalis that will get you in more trouble than fucking with corporate property. We would be safer if we were straight murdering fools. Well, good luck, I guess. That sounds like a worthwhile thing for a gang to do. I just figured gangs in Navalis were a bit more... You assumed wrong, but that's all right. We ain't surprised they talk shit about us. Well, I won't. I hope you two never get caught. Fuck yeah! You was right, Razor. She's all right. You stay loose, Cloudpunk. We see you later. I'd love to help out that gang. That's a really nice gang. So I guess unless somebody has an icon on the map, I don't think you can do anything with them. Plasteel parts. Ruined plasteel can be melted down and reused. Maybe I can sell this to a vendor for some limbs. Oh, is that what the money is called? Limbs? Another 3D printer. I wonder what they're printing. Another punch card. Do they just stack? Yeah. Oh, 
food. Welcome to my humble restaurant in the rain. What can I get you? Crispy meat soup? Soda can or candy bar? Hmm. Meat soup sounds nice. I mean, I'm personally a vegetarian, but let's say the character isn't. I think meat soup would sound nice because it's raining. Like, it seems kind of cold and miserable. Something warm would be nice. Not bad. Achievement unlocked. Tastier than maggot pizza. Uh, yeah, I suppose it is. <laughs> okay. Let's just get one of everything, I guess. Soda can. Candy bar. Thank you. Don't let all the rain get you down. See you again soon. Much sweet. Without caffeine, but with lots of real sugar. Oh, I guess the soup is just like automatically consumed. Um, there's a little icon next to the money that it's worth. It shows like a, a person dashing. So I think that indicates that it's going to make us faster. How fast are we right now? Pretty fast. Did that soup already speed us up, or am I just imagining it? I don't know. Let's... Sweet. Let's consume. Seems the same speed, but yeah, I think the speed's already boosted. I'm not sure how to tell. I don't see any, like, status effect icon anywhere that I can tell. Looks like water. Both water and a force field. Whoa. Lower Midtown. Now this is still Lower Midtown, so where's it going? Exactly. Uh, oh, there's a whole map. How big is this place? That's a lot already, considering that Every one of these places you can land and, and do all sorts of stuff. So those are called tunnels. Maybe it's like popping me out here. Let's check. Yeah, it is. Okay, from there to there. Gotcha. So much stuff over here. Multiple people to talk to. Tons of tunnels and... What is that? That's a lift? convenience store. I love how glowy everything is. So neon. Excuse me, miss. Have you seen her? Seen who? Nari. I'm sorry. I don't know who that is. Are you okay? Of course I'm not okay. I can't find her. I mean, do you have somewhere to stay? I know a shelter nearby. Why would I need a shelter? Well, your clothes are rags, and it looks like your exterior dermis is breaking down. I can see some of your endoskeleton. No, I can't go to a shelter. Nari wouldn't think to look for me there. Who is Nari? She is gone, and when she left, she took all my happiness with her. Can't you call her? She does not answer. Maybe she doesn't want to talk to you. That can't be true. Sounds like she's giving you a pretty clear message. What was the last thing she said to you? That she would love me forever. Oh, um, sorry. There have been a lot of accidents in the city. I'm not saying she was in one, but just, you know, it can be hard to keep in touch with people. I have to say, this city is... Too fast. It moves too fast. Yeah. Do you have any leads? She had no money. She wouldn't last long here then. Maybe the Marrow? I will try there next. Well, good luck. What's your name again? Taiko. If you see Nari, tell her Taiko is looking for her. I will. Keep an eye out. 
Is there any sort of a quest system? Let me check the controls. No, doesn't look like it. I did just find out that I can strafe in the vehicle, though. Using Q and E. Look at those cubular watermelons. Beautiful. Oh. Why can't I go through? Guess I lack some sort of pass? Some clearance level? Yeah, you can't jump or anything, so I can't, like, do parkour to get around there. Well, I guess that's it for me, then. For this area. Oh yeah, we're definitely slower than we were before, so if I drink this... Hmm. Oh yeah, definitely faster. Just have no idea how long the buff lasts. Strafe. Yes, beautiful. Wait. Wait, E's not working. Q is working. But E isn't. That's odd. Huh. You know, I couldn't walk through that area over here, but maybe there's somewhere I can land past it. Oh, actually there isn't. Only two peas, and this pea is on the same side of the force field that I was on before. Okay. Let's go to our destination. I think we're going to Ochuba. So that map is just one of many regions. Here's a whole nother one. And there's the way to the marrow over there. Judging by the map, there's actually not that many places to land. It's not like every single building can be landed on. Uh, what are those? Repair station. Okay, so our vehicle can be hurt then. And it is hurt. And, oh, there's also gas. That's what that bar is that's a little bit depleted. It's gas. Let's go fill up, see how expensive it is. I think I know how they work, Control. You do? They go up, and also down, right? Yeah, that's about it. You know why? No. It's about vert ceilings. Not those again. Say again, 14FC. Sorry, just making a kind of joke. Go ahead, Control. Hoffas are tuned to a vertical field frequency based on the layer of the city they're in. That field locks you to a maximum and minimum altitude. That's why you need the ascenders. 
They take you up or down a layer, and as they carry you, they reset your Hava's field frequency. They reset the vertical ceiling and floor. But Havas fly just fine outside Navalis without vert fields. That's true. Your Hava will fly fine in areas without the fields. Even in old ruined parts of the city that are off the grid. But the grid holds everything together in the city. Tracks you, gives you access to the nets, the comm, the mapping systems, the reserve power of your engine stalls. And it stops us just flying straight up to the spire too, right? That's right, kid. The CEOs don't want you flying up and looking in their windows. They prefer their privacy. I guess we don't get many jobs up there anyway. You might be surprised, kid. I want to look up all the time. I don't know if I want to just leave the camera unlocked like this or not. To the marrow. Control said the marrow is like a maze. Oh wow, yeah, the traffic is really heavy. I do not want to fly down there with the traffic. I'll go above it, thank you. That's terrifying. Ooh. What's in this tube? looks meaningful, but I can't actually do anything. Ah. Is that supposed to be underwater? things here. Coolant. Cooling fluid used for machinery. With 50, was it limbs? Did you try the okonomiyaki? Isn't that a pancake? Right! With fish flakes! Oh, it's to die for! I wouldn't trust the fish flakes here in Novalis. Would you like to appear on my food review channel? It's on all the nets. We're looking for people to react to different stimuli. Can you pretend to be sick on cam? What? No. There's a free meal in it for you. Or would you pretend to be really annoyed? Our viewers love that. I am annoyed. That's perfect. For. Whatever it is, I got it. Candy, soda, water, energy drink. Oh, that's not as exciting as I was thinking it would be. Hmm, I guess let's try the new stuff. Water. Grade 1 water. The kind they get in the spire. No impurities. Energy drink. Lots of caffeine and sugar. Don't expect to sleep for the next four hours. Considering how much money I have... 
fact that these only cost like nine, nine, seven, four, that's like nothing. Thanks. Hey, come back anytime, lady. Hey, nice to meet you, lady. What do you need? I want to get everything that's new. I want to try one of everything. Easy vegan ramen. Uh, vegan ramen soup with mushroom broth, crispy tofu, and miso roasted vegetables. Good for your heart. That sounds amazing. God, I'm hungry. Not bad. Thanks for this. Y'all come back. You hear? Engineer. Hey, you. I need to ask you a question. I'm busy. I just need a minute. I'm a structural engineer, and I'm trying to make sure we don't have another disaster like in Sector 18. You're not too busy to help prevent that, are you? I don't know how I can help you. I just make deliveries. You're driving all the time? You see a lot of the city? This is actually my first night on the job. Ah. Still, you've probably seen a lot already. Sure. It seems like the city is falling apart. Can't you guys do anything? And we're trying. The whole infrastructure is plasteel built on top of concrete, held together with ancient rivets and materials we don't even have names for anymore. The computer systems are so ancient they've gone senile. No one knows how everything is still working or how to know when it stops working. The city is held together with, with duct tape and hopes and dreams. How did things get so bad? It's always been like this. These disasters have been a, a long time coming. Can't you fix it? Fix what? The accidents. The city. <laughs> you have no idea. The engineers are powerless now. With my colleagues, it's all superstition and ritual. They talk with AIs that stopped talking back a thousand years ago. They press buttons and switches that could make everything better or worse. Or they might do nothing at all. They're like monkeys trying to operate a satellite array with a broken computer terminal. I'm the last real engineer. The only scientist among them all. So how am I supposed to help? Well, if you see any street signs blink three times and then turn red, come tell me, okay? Sure. What does that mean, though? Uh, probably nothing. But if you see them flash blue, well... That means trouble, so get out of there. Blue? You said red the first time. Oh yeah, uh, blue or red. Either one. What about other colors? No, blue or red is bad. Anything else means there's no problems. Uh, unless it's green or orange. And if they turn purple, well, that doesn't really matter. Why not? If they turn purple, well... It's too late for you to do anything anyway. Dear God. It's like there's something on the map right about here. I don't know where. Is it like above me? I don't know, the icons kind of move around. Hmm. Probably above me. There is an elevator here. Yeah, it's got to be above me. Zeta Boardwalk. Low cache terminal, enter your security code. I don't have one, do I? Welcome to Ashima Raymond and Seafood. My name is Eddie. What can I do for you? Oh, all of this is new. Pork miso ramen, lamb coconut ramen, small sushi plate, sushi starter. Pork miso ramen with house-made chili oil, miso blend, fried pork, onions, bean sprouts, gene-enhanced, artificial carrots, wood ear mushrooms, and eggs. Spicy. Ah. 
Spicy lamb coconut ramen made with eggs, curry, spicy lamb, and scallions. Ah. We have a big stomach. <laughs> Small plate of sushi. Sake inside out. Sake nigiri. Uh, teka nigiri. Tamago nigiri. Ikura. I ikura. Served with artificial soy sauce. I'm not hungry. No, there's a limit. I'm not hungry. Thanks. Have a nice day. Accessing the deep net without a corpsec data pass is forbidden. Oh, it's an arcade. Oh, another type of robot. I wonder what that one does. Another memory chip. That's all right. I thought this icon on the map over here was up on this level, but apparently it's not. Confused about that one. What do those chevrons mean again? Oh, they don't appear on this map. What if I zoom out? No? Oh, is the chevron where that location of the thing is? Yeah. Okay, so the merchant is now, you can see the shopping cart. It's got a chevron pointing down with one filled, so I guess it means like one level below us. Okay. This is pretty dreary, huh? It's cool looking, but the rain. See, now it says these are up, so I guess they're somewhere in between that level up there. Well, they're not very important, I don't think. It's just like a food vendor in a hollow cache terminal or something. Oh, thank God. This will change everything. Where do I sign? Right here, Mr. Carva. B please, call me Irwin. It's from my parents. They died, you know. Cora only knows what caused the crash. I'm sure they saved their whole life to give this to me. I, I thought it would be in cash. Limbs. But my neighbor said they'd probably leave me pressed gold. That way, you don't pay so much city tax on the transfers. Can I take that now? Sure. Here you go. Who is Cora? It's just an expression. Y you want to see what's inside? I can maybe give you a tip if it's limbs. Not every day you see someone become rich in front of your eyes, right? Just think, I can finally get the eye surgery I need. Two augments, no expense spared. I can hardly read the holocrons these days. It's all just a blur. Let's see, just rip here and... 
Oh. What is it? Gold? It's old toys. My ship models. The R7 ICBM and Sputnik. The NASA shuttles? The UN Interplanetary 101? Why did they send these? It must be some kind of code. There's a note, right? Yeah, let's see. Dear Irwin, we know these toys were important to you at one time. We need to sell the apartment, but your father has a scheme. It seems risky, but if all goes well, this will arrive just before we land at the colonies. We're going to the stars, just like we always dreamed. I know it's hard out there, but if we keep our heads down, we can start sending you money for the operations. More than enough money. Just hold on, honey. Everything's going to be okay. Sorry. I should go. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. That's really sad. I feel so bad for them. Good job, kid. I looked into your profile. It says you came from the Eastern Peninsula. Heard it's nice there. What made you want to come slumming with us in Novalis? It's the biggest city in the world. I wanted to make an impression. It's not easy to break out in Novalis, kid. Making it here is like trying to paint on the surface of a river. The current of people and ideas and the crowds, they, they wash everything away. I'll make it. Sure you will, kid. Just try making it through tonight first. We need you to head up to the Mercantile District. You're moving up in the world. What's the job? Same as always. Take a package from A to B without too many questions. A is a warehouse. B is a penthouse. Transmitting nav points now. And remember, don't let them look down on you, kid. The merchants are as far from the clouds as they are from the gutter. Okay, Control. On my way. Merchantile District. Well, should we visit a location here? See what's there. So there's a refueling station, refueling. This is like one of the major hubs, and it looks like there's two other big hubs here. Let's go check out the Meadow Market. Load Hova AI. Load assistant. Load computer. Helper. Do you want to activate the generic automata? Yes, that's the one. Automata now available in generic limited mode. How can I help you today, sir? Not sir. My name is Rania. How can I help you today, Mr. Rania? <laughs> I'm not a mister. Update my profile, please. Profile changes are locked in the trial generic automata. Would you like to upgrade to my limited offer, monthly subscription, premium mode? Now, just how much to replace you with an existing AI? Do you have a hard copy of the AI on storage media? I do. Then the transfer cost to unlock the automata is 1500 limbs, sir. How would you like to pay? Direct transfer. Please insert storage media. Transfer in process. Automata personality Camus will be activated in approximately 20 minutes. Would you like to deactivate the generic automata personality now? Yes. Deactivating. Please enjoy your new automata. Good day, Mr. Rania. Have to pay a fee to change our pronouns. Ah. <sighs> Still don't know what these punch cards are for. Elon cosmetic procedures. Change your name. 
It might be the case that I should keep doing the main quest. Because uh, sometimes... Like, I think we're still in the prologue, probably. Sometimes doing prologue stuff can unlock features and special things that kind of explain how all these things work. But we're here, so let's explore this. Rare video game cartridge. I think this is a video game of some sort. It's made of chunky black plastic with a basic circuit board. The faded label has only a few lines of readable text. Fumbo's Quest. Here's what I can offer you today. Ooh. A magazine, The Fisherman, popular magazine in the Marrow. This says they used to catch giant glowing green fish in the bay before corpse sex started charging a thousand limbs for a permit. Corpse sex flyer. They're trying to recruit for their informant program. Gray text on a dark gray background, inspiring. Black sunglasses. Cool, but where's the sun? Yeah, they're wearing sunglasses. How can they see anything? Let's get it all, I guess. Thanks. I look forward to Oops. I like these. Oh. Oh. So I just equipped him. How do I unequip him? <laughs> yeah, I got him on. Now we really can't see anything. Oh. I was thinking once we bought them we could like read them or something, but apparently not. I wonder if they have a purpose. Mm -hmm. What, I'm not running that fast, am I? <laughs> 